Here's the deal. I saw this design on Creative Fabrica. I like it a lot. It's part of a bundle package. Click the link below, go download it. If you sign up and you haven't signed up before, you can get it for free. Do that. My file is not going to be for sale uh, and I'm not giving this away either. But what I am doing in this video is showing you the design process and, and the thoughts that need to go into designing something like this. Go download the original file if you want it or learn how to, how to make this on your own. All right, I just found this design on Creative Fabrica. I freaking love it. Uh, it actually comes in a bundle uh, with a bunch of other designs here. Really cool stuff. It's dual layered acrylic uh, and then uh, looks like plywood on top, uh, quarter inch plywood. A lot of cool designs. I think this would do really good in my area. I actually think this, these would do really good anywhere. If you want to download this for free right now, go to the link in the description below, Creative Fabrica, 10 free downloads. It doesn't matter if it's a bundle. It doesn't matter if it's fonts. Uh, it's 10 for free for your first month. And then it's 10 bucks a month after that. And the amount of designs that are on here is crazy. So uh, go check that out, link in the description. But what I wanna do here is break this apart. Uh, I'm gonna download this, this myself because I think it's awesome. But for the sake of learning how to actually design and make stuff, let's take this image and run with it. How was this made? So we're gonna start off, this is actually the picture from there. So we're gonna start off like uh, we do with every other project that we're doing with our ornament that we designed a little while ago. And I'm going to duplicate this, control D. Now I have a side by side. Um, what we're doing here is we need a back, which is gonna be acrylic. So that's gonna be this part. I'm going to, just so I can see the outline and actually where I need to put everything in there, I'm going to keep that inner circle there, uh, just color it blue so it's a reference. Um, and now I want to, uh, get the design, the nativity scene design that's on the back. Again, you can download a bunch of stuff from Creative Fabrica, or if you just have a nat nativity design or scene. So let's bring that in. We're going to get this centered, and then I want to bring it up as far to the top as I can. All right. So to center this, I'm going to select the nativity scene, and then I'm going to select the reference circle in the center. Go up here, and this is going to center it between the horizontals or vertically it's going to center it. If I, whoops, control Z, control Z to undo. If I have both of these selected again and I go this way, it is going to center it horizontally. So I want it vertically, vertically centered. So let's do that. If I wanted to center this piece inside this circle, golly, control Z, control Z, control Z. So we have this off to the side. If I wanted to center this completely inside the circle, select both. And then this will put it exactly in the center of that circle. I don't want it exactly there though. I want to move it up to the top or closer to the top at least. We can scroll in here and see we are pretty close to that edge. I'm going to hold control uh, and then control shift. And that's going to decrease the amount that that's moving. There we go. We're not all the way up there. So now if we take a look at this, that's how that's going to engrave. I just think it's so funny that it, the nativity scene that looks like two Tyrannosaurus Rexes fighting over a table saw, I, it's hilarious to me. All right, so now we're th that we're there, um, let's look at the front. And the front is going to pop over this and it's going to have all the space in the bottom below that nativity scene. So I want to make a, make sure that those are aligned to the top. And I want to create a line from the base of the, na the nativity scene. So I'm going to left click and it'll automatically grab where it's horizontal. It's a horizontal line. It'll automatically adjust to that. So I'm going to go outside of the other ornament, left click, and then I'm going to right click to get rid of that other line. Now here uh, I can grab this line, make it smaller, and then using my snipping tool here, I can make sure that this is not gonna work because it's grouped. I'm gonna control U to ungroup it. Utilizing my snipping tool here, uh, I'm going to snip off the bottom. So now you can see here, we're gonna have this area to engrave. And then I'm gonna snip each side of that line. And now this is gonna be a little window into the acrylic on the back. Um, now we want Merry Christmas on the bottom. If we check that out, Merry Christmas. It looks like the Christmas is actually conforming to that. And there's actually a circle 
going around the entire ornament. So let's do that. What we can do is take this, Control D to duplicate that. And then we're gonna grab the outside control and just expand that. Right there, it looks about center. All right, buddy, get down. There you go. And I'm gonna want that as a line. So color that green there, which is gonna be a fast line. So it's just gonna be like a score. Now I want Merry Christmas up in here, up in here. All right. Get that guy red. And now there's a couple of different ways that you can make this go around the circle. You can use, uh, I have an entire video on that if you want to check that out. Uh, you can grab this blue line here and essentially squeeze it until it looks like it's going to be working for you. Make that a little bit bigger. And I want my spacing increased. I do not like, there you go, that looks a little bit better. Still really don't like how that looks though. Looks, all right, now we get our Mary in there. Let's see what that's gonna look like. Similar, stars. There are a couple of different ways to make stars. Uh, hold shift and that'll give you a perfect, whatever you call this, polygon geometry. I'm gonna go to my shape properties. Uh, this has six sides, I want it to have five. Now I'm gonna take my line tool and I'm going to go to every corner here Take that away, delete that, and now select this guy. I'm going to do an offset of, of zero, okay? And there you have it, a perfect star for you. Delete that guy. And it seemed like there were a lot of stars going on in that design. One, two, three, four, five, and then a bunch of outlines. Excuse me. We'll do a couple and then speed through it because there's a lot going on there. Control G. All right. So I'm going to group everything on the front and I'm going to bring that over to this ornament so that I can kind of get my spacing. <clears throat> Holding control and coming in with that. And then I'm going to select both of those, control D to duplicate that. So now I have two. Maybe make this guy a little bit bigger. Uh, I'm going to rotate him. Control D to duplicate. Let's go over here. Make him a little bit smaller. Rotate him. Uh, we'll take the inside here. Whoops, there we go, make that even smaller. Um, and then take this original guy, Control D to duplicate. <clears throat> all right, so I think you get the gist of that. So I'm gonna select all of these guys and I'm gonna select the original ornament and move all that stuff over here. Control G to group that. And now I wanna get some stars in the background here of this guy, damn it. <laughs> <laughs> control U, Control D to duplicate, so I have a star to copy. Control G to group, bring it over here again. There we go. All right, now I'm gonna take this star, bring it down here and make it really small. Control D, rotate, Control D, rotate, Control D. You kind of get the, get the picture here. Just trying to get as many of these guys in here as I can, because I think this will be really cool. All right, I think that looks really nice. It's a lot of stars going on there. Very cutesy, very demure, very mindful. The other thing we're looking for is all of those little doodads on the bottom here. And how we can find those, I believe those are in some wing dings. So uh, this is, I forget what this is called. So in this character Mac WP, uh, we're able to look at all the different uh, characters or glyphs that are in our different fonts. Ah, there's a star right there. <laughs> Could have just done that one. Let's see here. So there's a bunch of different stuff. I think I like maybe some of that. So this is in Wingdings, so you have to remember what it's in. So let's go up to here. Let's go to text and find our Wingading Dings. Control V. Now we have that star that we can utilize. Let's we can convert that to a path. Let's see what else we got. Copy that, I like that guy. Control V, and then we will convert this to a path. Maybe one more. <clears throat> Ooh, a whole bunch of cool stuff in this one. This is in Wingdings 2, convert to path. All right, so now we got a whole bunch of different stuff in here. Oops, let's group that together, Control G. This one's probably not grouped together either. And make these guys small. All right, so Control D and then 
we're going to hit our shift period and that's going to rotate at 45 degrees there. So now we have a couple of variations of that guy. Uh, this one, control period, and there's a couple of, there's another variation. So control D to duplicate that and then shift period for that 45 degrees. So now we have five different shapes in here. Control D, we'll get a couple of these guys over here. Control D, I could have a lot going on here, which is okay. All right, let's check that out. Man, that is looking very cool. How are we doing with matching this? I think we had a couple of sheep or something down there. Let's see what we can find. All right, there's some animals added in there. Let's preview that. Maybe I just want two lambs in there. I don't think I like that donkey. Control D to duplicate, pull it over here, and we're going to mirror it. Uh, you can also mirror it vertically, but horizontally works just fine. Oh, control shift to move them down a little bit more than that. There I go. Like that, uh, we're gonna need more stars down here. So, done messing around with stars here. <laughs> oh man. All right, then we're gonna take all that and all that and move that out of there. So now we have our front and our back. We're gonna have to fix this front a little bit because these stars, I want them just to like be popping out of the border. I don't want them going into the border like they are right now. And I also wanna add a couple more stars here. So control U to ungroup. Uh, we're going to control U a lot. All right, now control D, pull this guy down here and make him a little bit bigger. Rotate him, put him in there. Control D will do the same and put this guy right over here. All right, fantastic. Now to fix this, uh, we're going to, we can do the snipping tool. We absolutely can. Right there and right there, right here. So you can see on these guys where there's not multiple parts and they're not grouped together. Uh, super simple process. This guy be simple as well. This guy's grouped together, so we're going to have to ungroup him, control U, and grab that snipper again. Let's see. Oh, this guy's not grouped. Um, as far as this goes, we can grab this guy, select the outline here, and is that not going to work? These are all separate lines, that's why. This used to group these together, uh, these lines together, when back in the day when this first came out, at least I thought it did. I could be mistaken though. Control U to ungroup. Then we'll go through here and we are too far in on this side. There you go. All right, there's that. Now I'm gonna go ahead and select all of this. Color it black uh, so it cuts out. This I want uh, to be green again so it's that line. This guy I'm gonna color red so it engraves. Uh, also gonna color this guy red and probably this guy this one i want green and we'll do this guy green as well let's see what that looks like there you go so there's how you would design what you can find uh on the on the interwebs there just taking a quick look at it and you can see here that these guys are just line engraved those are not even or those are just lines they're not even engraved so uh we can go back and change that so it looks just like that or just keep it the way it is. It's a little bit different. It's not too terrible. Uh, like I said at the beginning though, don't steal from other people. I mean, this is how you can, this is teaching you how to design this kind of stuff, but I highly suggest you just go and get this for free so that you don't have to take all this time that we just went through to design this exact same thing. Just go uh, download it um, from Creative Fabrica. The uh, link is in the description. 10 free downloads and that's fonts, that's bundles, that's whatever. And then 10 months or 10 months and then 10 bucks a month afterwards. It's so worth it. We'll catch you guys later.